Hey guys, Cal here. Today I'm going to be talking about the best iPad tweaks of 2011. I'm also going to be talking about some tweaks that people say are the best iPad tweaks, but will actually screw up your iPad and make you have to restore it or update it, which is a really bad thing. So, let's get into it. Alright, so up first we have Folder Enhancer. And um, yes, I am using fo uh, iPhoto's slideshow to do this video. So yeah. Anyway, so Photo Enhancer is an okay tweak to install on your iPad. Basically what it does is it enhances your folders, allows you to have more than nine um, apps in one folder, and it allows you to have folders within folders, and I think you can also scroll sideways and vertical, or horizontal and vertical. So that one's pretty good. Um, it, it is okay to install on your iPad. Um, the next two is Gravy Board and barrel. So grabby board is kind of a fun uh, tweak that you can use on your iPad which does work and is okay to install. Basically it's like the Newton virus on the Mac. I don't know if you've seen that but it basically like when you shake the phone all the apps like move around and stuff like they have no gravity. Barrel is a sort of okay app to install. It won't screw up your iPad but I've been having issues with it like bugs and stuff on my iPad. I don't know if it's just my iPad the way I installed it. I don't know. But um, it hasn't been working for me perfectly, but um, it definitely works for the iPhone. But I'm not not so much for the iPad. It might just be me, though. So it's okay to install. It won't screw up your iPad, but it doesn't work as well on the iPad. So um, next one is fake clock up. Sorry for the blurry image. That's the only, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. So fake clock up. It says to it's said to increase uh, the speed of the iPad by like times ten or some ridiculous amount times two. I don't know. It makes some stuff load insanely fast, and it sounds awesome. But when I installed it on my iPad, it totally screwed up my iPad, and I ended up having to restore it. So that wasn't that great. Um, so I wouldn't recommend res installing it. it. Again, it might just be my iPad, but I wouldn't take that risk if I were you. So that is not an okay app to down or tweak to download on your iPad. Next up, we have RetinaPad, which is also a not okay tweak to install on your iPad. So what this does is it basically, um, when you open up an app that's made for the iPhone and an iPad, you have the option to um, expand it. So it's made for the iPhone, so it starts out with that small screen, but you can hit the times two button and make it larger. What RetinaPad is supposed to do is make that larger version have the same quality if it was the smaller version. So when you enlarge it, it actually gets Bad, uh, worse quality. So this is another one that screwed up my iPad when I installed it. Again, just might be my iPad, but I wouldn't uh, recommend installing this on your iPad. Did not work for me. Screwed up my iPad. So uh, next up we have Winterboard, and Winterboard is okay to download. Um, something wrong with Winterboard. <laughs> it's kind of standard app or tweak. It's really an app um, on every jailbroken device. Next we have Facebreak which is allows you to do three uh, FaceTime over 3G which is pretty cool that does work so yeah it's okay that's a pretty cool one uh, the next one is easy decline what this does is I don't know if you've noticed but when you get a call this is for iPhone actually I don't even know why I have this on here but anyway <laughs> this is for the iPhone not really the iPad because you can't get calls on the iPad it might work for FaceTime though I'm not sure so when you get a FaceTime call or just a call in general on an iPhone or an iPad, uh, there's no button to decline. It's only slide to un slide to answer, and there's no decline button. So this adds a decline button. I'm not sure why I put this on here because it doesn't really work for iPad. I think it works. All right, this one this this one is actually made for the iPad, which is really cool. It's called Five Row Keyboard. It is very good for the iPad. Made for the iPad works. Per perfectly fine. Basically, what it does is it adds a row to the top of the keyboard and adds the numbers in there, so you don't have to keep hitting the number button on the bottom left hand side of the screen to type in uh, like your password or something if it involves numbers and letters. So that's really awesome. That's probably one of the better ones that you can get for the iPad. So that's really sweet. Next up, we have Auto 3G and Your Tube. So Auto 3G, basically, what Auto 3G does is it enables whenever you shut off your iPad it automatically or iPhone it automatically turns off 3G to save battery which is an awesome because I find that my iPad is constantly running out of battery because I treat it like a computer 
and that uh, cord I always seem to lose, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, so that one's good to that one's okay to install on your iPad. Next is your tube, and that sort of works. I don't. It might just be me again. It might just be me. But what happens is when I install your when I installed your tube, um, and I tried to download. A, oh yeah, by the way, if you don't know what your tube is, basically what it does is it's YouTube, but it adds a download feature on it, so you don't have to wait for the stream. So basically, it's like installing a podcast or a movie from iTunes Store. So it lets you download the actual video from YouTube, so you don't have to wait for the little white bar to get halfway across the screen and then start the video, which is pretty sweet. But the problem is, is it doesn't work for me always. Again, it might just be me, but it also happened on my iPhone and my iPad. What happens is I try and download something, I download it, I click it to start the video, and then it just exits the YouTube app and goes to my home screen. So that hasn't been working out too well. It's okay to install, just to try out. It's not going to screw up your iPad, but I just don't think there might be some bugs. So I'm not sure. The, the last one is Iconoclasm, which is amazing. Basically what Iconoclasm does is it allows you to organize your apps or tweaks on your device, on your home springboard, in absolutely any way you want, or pretty much any way you want. You can do it crisscross, like this one has it. You can do it like a pyramid, diagonal. Um, you can also do, this is also a great way to have more than uh, five, four by four apps on your screen. You can have like six by six, seven by seven, eight by eight and so on, which is awesome on the iPad because you can really fit a lot of um, icons on that screen because it's so big. Alright guys, hope this helped. I just wanted to get this video out there because let's say you have an iPad and you really want to know some great tweaks and you go out there and you install these tweaks that are supposed to be super cool and then they crash your iPad and you're like, what the f... Anyway, so yeah, so those are the tweaks that are okay to download and not okay to download on your iPad too. This is 2011, so this is all up to date, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.